Hi and welcome to RTG Retro Tech Guardian with Ted and I. Um, today is just a dead quick video just to show you some of the bits that I've uh, purchased recently. Uh, second hand car boot sales, some charity shops. Um, so yeah, uh, mostly cassettes as you can see. Uh, I've got a couple of little bits hidden behind here I'll show you after. Uh, a Bluetooth keyboard, an Apple keyboard. Uh, and a little radio there in a the box. But... Um, might as well start with the big one in the middle. Uh, it says £5 on it. I offered the guy £4. He said, yep. Yeah. It does say here, uh, works one loose key. Now that loose key is on about. I don't know if it will show up there. You can just see it's been glued to the rubber. The actual mechanics underneath have gone. So I've ordered one of them. I've put batteries in it. I've tested it. It does work. It is a genuine Apple. You can just about see the logo there and... You can see the text there. It is a genuine Apple keyboard. It does power up. Show you the little light comes on. Yeah, you can just see that. Turn it off again. So yeah, I bought the mechanics for that. Uh, £1.75 on eBay. So all in £5.75 working keyboard. The only thing is it does have a little, you can just see that there, a bit of damage around there. Maybe it's been dropped or looks like someone's tried prying that out So I will try and knock that back and and try and sand it off so it looks a little better I don't think it will capture on this video very well exactly what it looks like. There you go So yeah, so that good little purchase um, I know it's not really retro, but um, I keep that for me uh, Then I got a kiss club life uh, double cassette uh, there's a, a track list there if you go to pause the video and have a look um, Well, this was recorded in 1999 so um, I think the last tapes well the last um, Some do produce on cassette still today, but um, I suppose the last mainstream cassette was around 2002 so close towards the end uh, then I've got uh, Woman 2, again, 1999, double cassette. Uh, there's your track list if you want to pause the video and have a look. Um, well, we've got these. I've got a Matt Bianco one. Um, I just bought them random. Um, I think I paid a pound each for the double ones, and the other small tapes were 50p each. Uh, apart from these two, because they're double cassettes as well. I'll show you them in a sec. Um, so, yeah, Matt Bianco. Uh, there's the track list. I haven't tried them all yet. I don't have time to try them all. I will do eventually. Um, I really like that, because Pulp Fiction, I love the film. Um, so, I had to get hold of that. Uh, anybody who's into Pulp Fiction will know the songs that's on there. Um... I was quite chuffed to find that. Uh, Paul Young, I do remember Paul Young, obviously, when I was growing up. And uh, obviously being an 80s child, born in 70s, so all my teenage years were in the 80s. With blonde highlights in my hair and all sorts of weirdness. Um, right, level 42. Um, World Machine. I'll try and get that to focus on them, but they're quite small. You might read that. Uh, Europe, uh, Eye of the World. I remember Europe as well growing up. Um, obviously, everybody will know you too. Uh, live, Under a Blood Red Sky. They're the tracks. Looks like a cheap. <laughs> that's really cheaply made, much produced. Lisa Stanfield, um, Real Love. Uh, there's the track list. And then we've got Jennifer Rush, Heart Over Mind. I did have a crush on her when I was younger. Maxi Priest, Bonafide. Uh, there we go Buddy Holly um, I do like some of his tracks um, 
not all of them uh, it's not i'm not the biggest fan but i saw it, it was 50p i thought why not so then this pile we've got queen the kind of magic and that's on there so i will be testing all these and then conscience womack and womack do love a bit of womack and womack and you got the track list and then this one i just thought it says a free music tape it's obviously come free with a violita mop at some time but bop while you mop i just thought it was a bit of fun james brown uh, sex machine uh, Shack Attack, Nightbirds, Eamon Corner, um, Cool and the Gang, Dexy's Midnight Runners, a few on there. I just thought it was quite funky. Uh, I just thought, why not? Uh, and then an awesome Wells reads War of the Worlds. Um, yeah, the reads are very, very quickly. Oh, that's a stupidly long tape, because uh, just one tape. Uh, I will have to try that one day to see uh, how far he got. It was uh, broadcast and then the broadcast of Panicked America. <laughs> uh, Empire, um, Free From Empire, I assume Empire Theatre or something. Carpenters, um, Horizon, that's the track list. I got into the Carpenters when uh, I was growing up in the 70s. My dad would uh, love the Carpenters and used to play their records all the time. So I remember growing up listening to them. Uh, Gloria Estefan, uh, Cuts Both Ways. Again, Gloria Estefan. You know, when you were like 14, 15, pubescent lad, you know, she was, yeah, well, enough said. Right, uh, 20 Greatest Hits, The Beatles, um, you know, everybody knows The Beatles, everybody likes, at least has one track of theirs they like, so, yeah, I got that. And then this one I just had to get, again, it's a bit unusual, uh, Classic Commercials, and uh, if you look on the back here, um, Old Spice, uh, a wool advert, Hamlet Cigars, uh, Blue Band Margarine Advert Music, Lux Soap, Nescafe. Uh, anyway, if you want to have a read, there it is. Just pause the video, have a little read of that. I thought it was unusual. I do remember these old classic commercials, and I thought, well, the music obviously brings back memories, so I thought we'll try that. And uh, Soul to Soul, always love Soul to Soul. Um, keep on moving and back to life uh, were my favourite, obviously. And the acapella mix, which is on this. Uh, brilliant back to life uh, acapella. Sounds fantastic. So, yeah, I got that one. Um, again, I didn't pay a great deal for these. Uh, most of these were 50p each. There might have been the odd one I paid a pound for, I can't really remember. And then this one, Rolling Stones, 40 Licks, is a, a double album. Um, and uh, there's a lot of music on there. And then unusual, with it being, oh, he says, opens it up. A double album like that. So, yeah. Um, do you know what? I never really got into the Rolling Stones. Um, there is obviously some tracks I remember better than others. Um... But I never really got into the Rolling Stones. So, uh, but when I saw that, and um, I think the guy wanted uh, a quid each for them. And uh, for that one, and a pound for this one, which is uh, the Rolling Stones again. This one's the singles collection. Uh, digitally remastered from original master recordings. Uh, again, that's your track list. Again, another double design. This time with a see-through case. They were just in good condition, and I thought, do you know what, for a pound, I'll have them. Now, the same seller had these. Now, there's a couple of blank mini-discs, uh, the Maxell colour ones, 74-minute recordings, um, the green and the pink one, obviously. Uh, I've not used these. I do have a mini-disc player, which I am going to show on this channel. 
it is a lot newer than what I would usually collect, but I do love the format of the mini disc, so I will be showing that at some point. Now, the seller of those two cassettes, the Rolling Stones ones and these, also have these. Now, they look like tapes, they look like CDs, but uh, this is Melanie C, Northern Star, this is Billy Piper, Walk of Life. But what they actually are is uh, pre-recorded mini discs. Now, you don't see these often at all. In fact, they're the only two I've ever actually seen in real life. Um, they probably had them all over HMV when I was growing up, but I couldn't afford a mini disc when I was young, so I never got one. So uh, I never really looked for the format at the time. And um, so, yeah, so, I mean, I've tried these. They both work fine. Uh, I've tried them on my mini disc player. Uh, again, that's that one. You can see it's a little mini disc. You can, uh, you have to push a little slot in, we won't do that. No. So, yeah, I mean, they were unusual um, when I picked them up. And um, I think he said, give me four quid for the lot. So it was those two tapes, these two, and them two. Uh, basically, I snapped his hand off. I had no idea if these were worth anything or not i really didn't care the fact that they were actually pre-recorded mini discs was enough for me um not my favorite artist uh, i think she's a better actor than what she is a singer uh and mel c well you know we all know spice girls mel c but anyway that's the track list on that one and then billy piper again i'll just show you quick that's the track list on that one um yeah, I mean, you know, they're really unusual. So I thought, yeah, I have to get them. So now the last thing was this was off someone else. This was in a car boot sale. And uh, now this is, uh, I paid £2 for this. The guy said, give me two quid. I had to look in the box first before I, I paid the guy the money. Um, it's a medium long wave radio. Notice no FM. Uh, Britram 57, eight solid state transistor radio. Uh, Empire. Now I assume Empire is a make or Britram is a make. I'm not sure what that means. Um, doesn't really tell you much around the box. But the fact that the radio was boxed, nothing on the bottom. I just thought, yeah, do you know what, for £2, why not? Now I'm not going to power this up today. I have had a look on the inside and I will show you in a sec. Um, it comes with a little carry case, which is you know, with a handle. I should do it that way so you can actually see it. Uh, I'll take it out of the case in a second. And then it came with a guarantee for the transistor radio. Now, I don't know if anybody wants to read that, but just in case you can pause that and have a read. And then the actual user manual, the instructional, a few hints and instructions for the use of your new transistor radio. And there you go. Just dead basic just your instructions for it so if anybody's got one of these wants to copy these instructions let me know I'll either try and scan it somehow or I'll photograph it and send it on to you no problem at all now this little thing um, so that one pops off it's got a little popper there look for the handle so that pops off keep meaning to remember where the actual camera's looking i will get used to this eventually guys it's only about my 13th video or something right and then that slides out a bit brittle the plastic so i don't want to rag it out okay so there we have it a little radio it's got um volume on the top tuning on the side you can see that needle moving on the inside there um and a long wave and medium wave switch on the back and the switch is quite tough i think i'll be putting some switch cleaner on that when i test it uh now there's no batteries in it and there was no batteries in it when i saw it so the back just pops off like that we'll show you the back first day so on here it tells you now i need to put a square nine volt battery in this you'll see why in a sec um but I read that it takes four batteries. And obviously they're four 1.5 cell batteries. And they're missing their obviously plastic holder that you'd put the four batteries into. Now on the bottom there, 
it tells you about the radio and you've got this here which is serial number 171972 and I think that's a 4 on our A that's been really hard to see at the end. Now I don't know if that's a date code, I don't know if that's 1st of July 1972 or the 7th of January 1972, I'm not sure. It does look like it's from the early 70s, just looking at it. Maybe a bit earlier, I'm not sure. Um, but that's it inside. Uh, very basic, just a medium wave, long wave radio. And you can see why I nearly popped a 9 volt battery in it, because it's got one of these nice little connectors there. Now obviously that's a bit longer, and it's got a sponge here, so I assume that's where the battery pack would have led in and, and not rattled around because of the sponge. So obviously it had the little plastic compartment here where you slip four AAs into it, and then it's got the two connectors on the end for that. Now I don't have that battery pack, it didn't come with it. Uh, it also says it's supposed to come with some earphones, which again never came with it. So I'll connect it up to my um, power supply with some crocodile clips on those connections and we'll give it a try the next video I do. I'll do a really quick video of this, trying it, see if it works. Um, but I paid £2. Um, not a really expensive radio. I've seen them on eBay for around about £10. I don't know if they've sold. I didn't really look into it. I don't really care. I, I just quite like the fact that it's an old retro radio in a box um, and I'm happy to keep it like that uh, if it doesn't work will I probably fix it or even I should say try to fix it <sighs> I don't know I might do I might not I you know I, I just like collecting these things I think it's sad that if I hadn't bought this this probably might have gone in the bin and then no one else would ever have seen anything like that again maybe so I wanted to, to get it for £2. I thought, why not? So, well, that's it for now. Like I say, there will be a video on this at some point. There is going to be that video I promised about the um, aerial booster. Uh, and I am going to start my project on um, my Atachi uh, TV cassette radio. Uh, and the first thing we're going to do to that is add Bluetooth to that. So that will be coming in the next uh, next week or so. Um, I have got a bit more time, like I say, now I've changed job and and uh, I am going to the car boot sale again tomorrow. You never know, I might have some more stuff. So, yeah, so uh, I think my star finds of all this was those two pre-recorded mini discs. I love my little radio and these Rolling Stone tapes. Um, they're quite uncommon. You don't see many of them. Um... And I think they were just a great buy. So this seller was my favourite seller. Sold me them, them, and the two blank mini discs. He wanted four quid for the lot. I couldn't say no to that. So there you go. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. If you like, leave a like. Uh, please subscribe if you want to see more content because it will help me out and hopefully motivate me to do maybe a few more. All right. I appreciate your time for staying with me and listening. Thank you. Goodbye. Oh, 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 oh,